everyone. Welcome to uh, Anne Makes. Welcome to my studio. I am Anne. And I have a Dollarama haul to share with you today. Uh, yeah, I, I, if you uh, notice, I've been a little bit out of commission the last few days. I've been quite ill and I am slowly recovering. <laughs> But I feel great today compared to how I was feeling even yesterday. So, uh, yeah, let I went shopping because I hadn't been able to um, do anything, go anywhere, go uh, until today. And I had errands to run, and I still have some errands to run. Um, so let's uh, let's see what I bought at Dollarama, shall we? So one of the things I'm pretty stoked about sharing with you is I picked up this clock. I think it's it's pretty and I will be hanging this here in the studio because um, unless I look at my phone or one of my computers or something I don't really know what time it is so <laughs> this will be a good way to know what time it is when I need to know what time it is so I got that and uh, these clocks at Dollarama are four dollars they're quite pretty um, it's a Herald Harold and Barnes House of Clocks requires one AA battery. So I'll show it to you again. It's got this vintage look. I thought it was not bad for $4. And as usual, I went to uh, Dollarama to buy a cat litter, the disposable cat litters, and those are still $3 a piece. Uh, something else I picked up I was, I had the intention of filming in the Dollarama so I could show you what my Dollarama looks like. And then I thought, everybody's doing that. So I don't know if I should do that. And Uh, and I thought, oh, I could take some pictures. <laughs> and it's like, I need, I don't have time to do this filming and shooting pictures and, and get my errands done at the same time. It's just, it, it's not going to happen. Okay. It just wasn't going to happen. But I had a list of stuff that I wanted to buy because I would like to do a video for you guys about alternative to expensive, uh, art and craft supplies for our art and craft making. Uh, things that you can buy in the uh, discount stores, the dollar stores for example, and perhaps even uh, some like department stores like Walmart or something um, for our craft making. Instead of, it's not maybe not instead of going to other stores, you know, big box uh, stores that focus on arts and craft supplies but they're like for me i i live far from uh, those stores so i always i've always had to make do with what was closer to me or you know or if i ventured out it was a whole trek and you know i had when my kids were young i had to pack the kids and bring them and it was like a whole thing to to go to these stores and uh so i got pretty good at looking for alternatives and I have to tell you that I been finding a lot of quality product in uh, the dollar stores in the uh, in, and in Walmart too as well and some it's sometimes there's places you just don't think of shopping for arts and craft supplies and you just have to go to your local hardware store or even your grocery store sometimes and yeah, so uh, there's alternatives out there. And one of the things, so I thought I'm gonna start 
buying those things so I could show you guys in a video, in one video, uh, alternatives. And uh, then I realized I already have a lot of this stuff, so I may be buying doubles. And there's other things I'm like, no, I have a ton of that. <laughs> So this 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 haul uh, it contains stuff for that video. Uh, so one of the things I picked up were these plastic table covers. I got them in pink just because I like to use pink in my studio, and I wanted to show you that for a dollar twenty-five, you can protect your work surface when you're doing some messy work, and especially if you don't intend on keeping this afterwards depending on the work you'll be doing like and I'm, I have a project in mind for this uh, that would involve perhaps some spray painting that would involve some permanent ink that would involve paint pouring let's say then uh, purchasing these at the dollar stores in this case I got these at Dollarama they are a dollar 25 they are for a table that would normally sit six to eight people it's a rectangular tablecloth and it's in the hot pink and it measures 50 54 inches by 108 so for a buck 25. these i bought for multiple reasons these are smoothie straws I get these at Dollarama. Uh, Dollar Tree also has these uh, most of the time. My, my Dollar Tree today didn't have any. So, uh, but there was a space where they usually have them and there were some boxes that they were opening. Uh, so these are $1.25 and I get 50 in here. Now Dollar Tree, I, didn't re I don't remember how many there are in a package, but they're gonna be a dollar 25 because I'm in Canada and uh, items at Dollar Tree are dollar 20. But this, this was my first, my first stop was Dollarama. I also got some more of these artists panel at $3, the wooden ones. Uh, they measure eight by 10. Uh, these are such a great deal, such a great buy at Dollarama for anybody who is into uh, art making, even crafts. Uh, there's multiple uses for this. Artists love to use these panels for painting on. It's even cheaper than going to the hardware store and having uh, MDF cut. It's 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 you know you have a deeper you know for, uh, frame here. So it's, you know, it's a nice canvas. It's a wood, but we still call this a canvas. It's a, it's a nice base for painting. So I love getting those at Dollarama. I also picked up a lovely card for my husband. I'm just going to flash it in front of you for Father's Day because sometimes he watches my videos. So, and the, the cards at Dollarama are actually a dollar. And this is, oh, it's a Hallmark card. So. Not bad, eh? Other item I found, this was new at my Dollarama today. It is by their Studio C uh, line. The it's a brand it's a line that they have for their office supplies. And this is a composition book storage jacket. Sorry, it's yeah, it's glare, it's it's plastic. And what it is is it's got this cardboard in here to show you how it works so you have this plastic here and you slide in a composition book um, so if you want to protect your composition book and if you have other items to bring with you like a pencil or some papers or something there's a pocket here with a zipper that is stuck right now there we go um, and you can just use that to store stuff like you could put your pencil or whatever so since uh, my son and i love composition notebooks i just thought this would be so handy uh, especially for when we like to carry around a notebook and a pen and of course dollar Rama didn't have any composition books today uh, so I picked one up at Dollar Tree, which is in my other bag, just to uh, show you how it works, but it's in the other bag, so I can't show you. So these things 
are 10 inches by 15.6 inches, just perfect for composition books. And it says slides over any 80 and 100 sheet composition book. It's called Zip It. And if I remember correctly, these were $1.25 a piece. So I think that's a pretty good deal. I'm really happy I found just these cups. You get 30 in here for $1.25. These are, they're, they're clear, but they're kind of, oh, they're not completely transparent. Um, the ones that were a harder plastic and more transparent, you got less in a package and it was a bit more expensive. And what I'm going to be using these for, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I went for the cheaper version and smaller also. So you get 30 in here for a dollar 25 and actually at uh, Dollar Tree they did not have I went afterwards they did not have this quantity for this price they only had the bigger cups so it's a good thing I picked them up I picked these ones up at Dollar Ram. I'm always purchasing these at Dollar Rama for Kitty they're three dollars. And now for a completely unnecessary item, but might be fun, is this prank tape. Yes, prank tape. So prank your friends, your family, your neighbors. And um, this is, you know, like crime scene tape or caution tape that you would see somewhere. Except this one says, epic fail. <laughs> yeah, I could put that right across all my windows in the studio on many days. <laughs> for failed projects and or this one is enter at your own risk yes that I could put that too but I just thought this would be good on my son's bedroom door so uh, this is a dollar 25 just to have fun and you get 30 feet of this prank tape there's another I do have the one that says crime scene by the way um, which I thought that might be good in front of the boys bathroom uh, and I picked up this, uh, just because it's cute, scotch, duct tape, the little rolls, just because they were cute colors. Yep, yep, yep. Really, really cute. I believe this was $2. This is, this is funny, but I, it, funny, but I thought, oh, it's, it's, it's cool. Another, uh, gag thing, it's called Head in the Hole. So what this is, is it contains 20 photo props. So you just kind of stick your face in it to take a picture. So, you know, if you imagine you're having a lot of people over and you want to take funny pictures, um, then everybody can pose with these in front of them. Um, you know, like here they show the guy posing in a, in a wedding dress. You know, this one, the, the girl on the motorcycle. So there are all these funny panels. And I thought, well, since I have to take a lot of pictures all the time from my work and stuff, I just thought these might be fun and I could use them for different reasons. You know, like this one, I could use this one a lot for certain people I know. This one, like, you know, for the big baby, you know, put the big baby in there. This one... Let's see. Oh, if I this this is me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to be a Viking. See? If I want to pretend I'm a Viking, there you go. So there. So it's a whole bunch of these funny things that are just uh, these cardboards that roll up. And this was two dollars. So again, just a piece of nonsense, but um, you know, could be fun for taking pictures. So I got that. So, you know, think about if you want to do like a photo booth at a party or a family get together this summer, those might be fun. Dollarama surprises me sometimes. Look at this. I found this very nice pink, I love this shade of pink, baseball cap for ladies. And it's like a suede. It's a suede. It's so soft and it's so pretty. It's so like chic. Well, for a baseball hat, I mean, but it's pretty. And this was $3. So, 
yeah, I got this. I don't even like wearing baseball hats that much. I also picked up some of these acrylic glasses, drinking glasses. Uh, these are $2 a piece. I got a couple of these. I just thought they're very, very nice looking glasses. And if I don't end up using them for drinking, I will definitely, they're staying in my studio, put it that way. I'm not sure if I'll use them for drinking or for putting pencils or stuff, but I just had to get them because they're the right, they're just a beautiful pink. And then I got these flower pot covers in this perfect pink for my room. And these are, these were a dollar, 25 or a dollar 50 a piece they're plastic they're not very big but they had them in lovely pastel shades they had white ones this lovely pink they had that mint green that's quite popular and that uh, light blue so i got a few of these and again if i don't stick a plant in it i will definitely use it in my studio for holding brushes or something like just a can of air freshener to accompany the cat litter box. Last time I was at Dollarama, I purchased one of these doohickeys. It's called the, it's by Made Smart Adjustable Storage Dental Care. Show it to you again. The little picture shows. It's got this thing here and this. And it's actually got two other hooks in here so you can use this funny plastic pegboard. Um, I have ended up using this on one of my craft carts and today I said, I'm gonna get another one because they fit perfectly this part fits it's got these little hookies there grips perfectly on uh, the side of my storage cart this also grips perfectly so I actually uh, put this one on one storage cart and I'm using this one elsewhere um, for the hooks, just for the hooks. So it's, it's perfect. So I got another one, just a nice hanging thing to put on my storage carts. Uh, they had this, uh, my doll Rama. This is new. It's from duct tape. It is rub on transfers. It says there are 34 pieces. I imagine it means there's 34 little designs because it, I don't, I don't, see 34 sheets in there that's for sure but um they're just some little transfers that you rub on a surface so i got these i really didn't know what i exactly what i would make with them but i do like transfers another item i picked up for a uh, future art making video in my studio are these ultimate handy foil Ultimate handy foil uh, set of two lasagna pans. These are a dollar twenty-five at Dollarama. And I compared at Dollar Tree, and they have cake pans that are this about the same size, and they are also a dollar twenty-five. Cute. I found this cherub holding a cat. And you know, I love kitties, and I just thought, oh, this is gonna go somewhere in one of my gardens. Um, it's just so sweet, I love it. So, it's the back here, and these are four dollars. It does look like stone, but I'm pretty sure it's it's a type of resin, and it's probably it's hollow, so that's pretty light. I mean, the base is heavy, so it'll stay put, but I mean the whole, yeah, it's a hollow inside. Oh, my store had more of these boxes. Maybe they found them in the back room. I don't know, but I was happy to pick them up because I had been looking for them and my store didn't have them and then I got them. So uh, these are the metallic lead flakes, $1.25 each. So I picked up a couple of the gold and one silver, I think. Yep, it's a silver. And these are for using in craft making and art making uh, you just put down some adhesive and you just uh, put this over it and with a brush you just tamp, uh, stamp it down oh, stamp it, tap it tap it with a brush to uh, make sure it adheres to your adhesive and you get a metallic looking surface I got some of this bling this is a design I have not seen before 
I really like this kind of old world looking design. So I got two of those. And, oh, here's my crime scene tape that I was telling you. Crime scene. Do not, do not cross. So it's the prank tape. I know I've seen uh, crime scene tape at Halloween. So, but it kind of went with the other two that I already found. Oh, <laughs> I actually bought seven of these. Uh, these are curtain tie backs with the fuzzy fuzzy pom-pom thing here. Uh, they're two dollars a piece and at first I was like oh should I buy it? but I thought they're still cheaper than if I went to a store for window treatments and then I thought about okay if I and I make my own with a cord and like yeah so it's not worth it two bucks a piece for these uh, they are curtain tie backs I got seven like this because I have uh, four sets of windows. One window is just one curtain, so that's why I seven. And uh, I will be using these to tie back the curtains here in my studio. And these are the home deco line for Dollarama. Lots of fuzzy wuzzies. Next, this is uh, a new craft item. That's what they were telling me in the store that they had just put this out. It is 18 sheets of linen cardstock measuring 20.8 centimeters by 11.5 centimeters. That's what it says. It is a very, very blah, variety pack of pastel colored linen type uh, cardstock. I don't need more cardstock, I know. And it is $2. And so this is, I know this is um, nice quality cardstock. And I remember when I got to the cash cash, I was like, what, do you, what is this for? And I said, oh, it's for craft making, card making. You can make lovely cards with it. Yeah, this is kind of invitation quality um, linen card stock type of thing. So, yep. So there you go. It has a bit of texture. Some of them have texture. No, they do. They all have texture, like on one side. And a little bit of a shimmer. So these are perfect size for making cards. You just fold these in half and you got a perfect card there. And uh, these are new. These are from the studio line for $4. These are dual tip markers, permanent dual tip markers. So you get a fine and an extra fine point. They come in this package where you get uh, reds, blues, black, and greens. And uh, $4 is an excellent price for uh, fine tip, dual tip, permanent markers. Uh, there's, there's 12 in here. So 12 of these for four bucks. That's an excellent price. Uh, so that's one, so that is a supply that you can get for much cheaper at Dollarama than you can at some other stores. These are new and I thought they were very pretty. So I got, actually got two of each. They have these new kits of paper butterflies. You get 32 pieces in each one of them. So they're like beautiful butterfly die cuts. And so these can be used in all sorts of paper crafting, um, card making, scrapbooking, even uh, gift packaging. Uh, you can use these to decorate your walls. There's, yeah, it's, it's a decorative thing. Your paper die cut butterflies, they are, they are thick, so well they're thick. They're, they're a nice thickness. They're not flimsy, too flimsy. That, and there's pink, there's blue, right? Oh, and the Monarch. So 33 pieces of the orange ones for a dollar. They're all a dollar, but the, the number of butterflies in each pack varies. The white ones come in 35 packs. The pink come in 33 packs. And the turquoise come, 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 come in a 32 pack. So there we go. 
uh i asked if they were gonna get more of these and they said probably so uh i hope so i hope that's true uh and they they i was it was explained to me and i overheard the conversation from the people in the back room the way that dollarama works is that uh that office keeps track of what is purchased there and as soon as they see the numbers drop of an item within a certain amount of time they ship them out more cases of a product so it's it's like oh it's like an automatic thing that is set up with them so like okay so yeah so the more you buy the more they'll they'll put on the shelves i guess so uh, these are the six by nine inches of the tough and clear vinyl pockets. So I got those and they're still four for a dollar. So it's a great deal. I got something from my son, my baby boy. I thought this was a very, very nice notebook. It's, it's like a leather. It feels just like leather, buttery leather. And it has a snap. It has a tassel. I hope he doesn't mind the tassel. And it has a nice snap. And it's just a wonderful journal with great writing paper inside, all lined. And like I said, it's got this like bookmark, this leather type bookmark with a tassel. It's just gorgeous. They had these in some beautiful colors. They had a, a, like a burgundy, uh, like a denim blue. There were a couple other colors. And this brown. So I, I got the brown one for him. And if he wants others, I'll go back. And this is, sorry, I should have told you. This is 100 ruled sheets. And it was $4. Now I know something like this. I've seen these at the stationery store, at the gift store, at uh, book at bookstores um and they are way more than four dollars so i know that this was a really good deal i hope that he likes it and since i'm all about buying stuff to show you guys how you can make art for cheap i saw these right dudes right dudes it's a brand of gorilla lead mechanical pencils so these are two mechanical pencils with the extra leads. There's already lead in each pencil. And the it, it's a number two, so it's a B, a B lead. So it's a soft, this is great for sketching. This is what I thought of. And apparently it's a, it's a strong lead that doesn't break. So I thought not only is this great for sketching, but it's also great for keeping in the workshop. Uh, because we all need to have a pencil to measure stuff but this is a continuous lead and it's supposed to be very strong it's a 1.8 millimeter so it's a lot thicker than uh, your regular type of mechanical lead pencil 1.8 I think is just about the same size as a wooden pencil so and you get two of these for a dollar 25 so um, and I got the ones that had the cute colors they had others but I got these ones so I look forward to playing with those, see how they work. And I picked myself up another sketchbook. I'm pretty sure I've already purchased uh, one like this in the past. Um, and I don't feel like digging it up right now. So I just, you know, took the plunge and bought another one just to show you guys. Uh, Dollarama sometimes has wonderful sketchbooks. Can't say the same thing for Dollar Tree, but Dollarama, really nice quality uh, sketchbooks and journals, uh, writing material things. The paper is nice and thick. This is really, I don't know how it would hold up to wet media, like uh, watercolor paints, let's say. And, but I, I know that it's really great for pencil, for uh, charcoal, pastel, all those dry medias, even ballpoint pen, uh, most inks. Um, but I haven't tested it on the wet stuff, but I'm pretty sure that it would do pretty well with wet media. So you get this, this is a beautiful hardcover sketchbook. It doesn't say how many pages there are in here. It does not say it's substantial and it's only $4. So for a sketchbook that is more of a, uh, 
off-white color than a pure white. That's that's such a good deal. Now, this is a new type of book at my Dollarama. It is also a sketchbook. It mimics those nice Asian hard-covered uh, sketchbooks. However, I say mimics because it is not stitched. It's not stitched in the spine, it is glued. Uh, so the pages could fall out, but I just had to get one of these because uh, the cover is just so, so nice. And this is like something you would pick up in an Asian stationery or art store. And again, it is a sketchbook. This is a thinner sketch paper than the previous one I showed you. But this is excellent for uh, pencil and pen. And it does lay flat, so which is a nice thing when you are sketching that your book lays flat. It doesn't do that bump thing in the, the center. And here's another sketchbook that I think is a good quality to get at Dollarama. So I just wanted to show you. I got this one, this size, and then this one. And a smaller one. It's thick, but um, it's good size. So this one, did I say how much it was? This is $2.50. Again, it doesn't say how many pages there are in here. And this one says it's a notebook. It's $4. I'm pretty sure I've purchased one of these before. And what is really nice about this one is that it does have a stitch. It is stitched. This is not, this is not just for show. It is a stitched binding. It's glued and stitched. But um, I can show you inside, you can see the stitching lines. Actually, some inside you can see. You can see it more on the manila paper lines, manila, the manila pages. And that's what's really cool about this type of sketchbook is that you have two types of papers in it. You have this kind of manila type of craft looking paper. But it's not craft paper though, it's more manila. And this nice thick sketching paper. So this is great for uh, when you're tired of sketching or drawing on a, a lighter surface, you can get the more toned surface. And this is extremely smooth versus this has slight texture to it. So a uh, great little sketchbook, notebook um, for anybody that likes to draw or just write. And speaking of drawing, the last item I have to share with you is something that is sold for children. It is to encourage children to draw, to uh, learn about uh, creativity. And I bought it for myself to play with. I will definitely play with this. And I got it because lately I've been uh, I've been playing with my old Spirograph from my childhood. <laughs> yeah, Spirograph. I've been testing out pens from various places to see which pens work better in the Spirograph. And uh, there are artists out there who make art with the Spirograph. And this is what this book is about. It's about how to use these wheels these spiro wheels and templates to create designs within another design. It shows you, it explains to you how to draw flowers with your spiro color set. So it's well, well explained for kids and adults. And I, I love that so I'm sorry I've had to pause this video many times because although I thought I was feeling so much better today I'm actually still sick because I'm having little coughing fits and watery eyes and sneezing so I'm not all better <laughs> I feel better but I'm not all better um so I, uh, I just want to finish uh, with this book that I picked up uh, that's a uh, spiral color for children to draw with spiral graphs in and make some pretty designs within another design. And the Dollarama I was at had the two styles that they show here at the back. They have this one, 
which is creativity drawing book and there's this girl on it and they also had this one with the horse or the unicorn no it's a horse so i i just got this one because they are four dollars but what a what a nice little gift to give to someone so this with um uh, some uh, really fine tip uh, ballpoint pens are a great gift to give uh, a child or someone who likes to doodle. And that is it for my Dollarama haul. Uh, I hope uh, you found this entertaining. And uh, stay tuned. I will be filming a Dollar Tree haul. And I do have a lot of other videos planned for you, including... Um, what are the best things to buy at dollar stores and other stores for arts and crafts. So uh, I hope you like this. Give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, comment, and stay crafty. I'll see you after the next video. Bye!